All right, rational functions part two, starting off with asymptotes. So what is an asymptote other than being a really weird word? It's a line that a graph approaches but never actually touches. All right, so remember our rational function, some p of x over q of x, and where p of x and q of x have no common factors. And so what this means is you want to make sure that your graph, your function is fully simplified before you do this next part. Otherwise, this next part's not going to apply. So for vertical asymptotes, the vertical asymptote on our original graph, this one, our vertical asymptote showed up at x equals 0. The problem with x equals 0, that was the one that was undefined. That was the one we couldn't use. And so our vertical asymptotes and our domain are going to be very, very similar. Set the denominator, and I'm going to shorten that to denom, denominator equal to 0. This is what you want to do to find vertical asymptotes can't divide by zero. And that's why these happen. These are very closely related. To your domain. And so notice that. On this one. Our vertical asymptote if we went back to our x minus 1, our vertical asymptote, I'm going to shorten it to VA, vertical asymptote would be x minus 1 set it equal to 0, so our vertical asymptote is x equals 1. And that's going to show up on, on our graph. Horizontal asymptotes. I'm going to write all about the degree. And so... To do horizontal asymptotes, you have to remember something from what we learned before, what degree is. The degree is that highest power of x. The highest power um, of x on top and on the bottom. So remember our example, we had f of x was made up of a P and made up of a Q. And so I'm going to talk about just the degrees. We're going to have the degree on top could be less than the bottom. P could be less than Q. P could be equal to Q. Or P could be more than Q. And why we're talking about the degree is because that highest power x is raised to is going to have the biggest, biggest effect on every single thing in our graph. And so, we have, if p is less than q, if the degree on top is less than the degree on the bottom, say, um, x plus 3 over x squared plus 3x plus 2. The degree on top is just 1. degree on the bottom is 2. And so p is less than q. The bottom is going to get bigger much faster. And so if you can imagine what happens at infinity, plug in a huge number here, plug in a huge number here, the bottom is going to get bigger much faster. And so this is going to have a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. Because the bottom is going to get really huge, you're going to divide by a bigger number, you're going to get closer and closer to 0. If p is equal to q, say you have 2x squared plus 5 over 3x squared plus 7. The degree on top is 2, the degree on the bottom is 2. So if that's the case, you take the leading coefficients. y equals a over b. 
leading coefficients. Because the 5 and the 7 don't matter as much as squaring this number. And so you're going to be squaring the same number when you plug in a huge number for x, and so the top is going to be twice as big as 3 times the bottom. So this ratio is going to stay the same, and so our ratio is still going to be y equals 2 over 3. Now if the top is bigger, say we have just the flip of what we did on top, x squared plus 3x plus 2 over x plus 3. Top is bigger than the bottom, P is bigger than Q. That means the top is getting a lot bigger, you're dividing by a smaller number, that's not going to give us an asymptote. No horizontal asymptote. And so, P is less than Q, Y equals 0. P is equal to Q, Y equals A over B, that's the leading coefficient, so we took our 2 and our 3. If P is greater than Q, we don't get any horizontal asymptotes at all. So let's keep moving. Let's graph what we got here. So what we did, we started with our x-intercept. If you look at our x-intercept from our very, very first page that we did, we got an x-intercept of negative 2. And that was the result of plugging in, um, setting y equals to 0. The result of plugging x equal to 0, that canceled, that canceled, we got y equals negative 12. So let's plot these. We get negative 2. We got negative 12, so it's going to cross down here. Um, our vertical asymptote, we covered on the next page. That's when we set our denominator equal to 0. So x minus 1 equals 0. So x equals 0. Sorry, x equals 1. And our horizontal asymptote. On this one, we didn't go back to it, but the degree on top is 1, the degree on the bottom is 1, and so we're going to have p equal to q. And so that's y equals a over b, our leading coefficients, which is going to be 6 over 1. or y equals 6. Our domain we talked about was very closely related to our vertical asymptotes. It's going to be everything except all real numbers except x can't equal 1. And our range we're going to come back to, that's going to be at the end if we get all done with this. So x equals negative 2, y equals negative 12, we plotted those. Let's graph our vertical asymptote. Use a dashed line because it's not actually part of our graph, but it's going to definitely help us graph it. Let's use y equals 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this all we should be able to find without a calculator. And we haven't used it yet. But now I want to use a calculator. In pre-calc, you're going to, um, to do a little sign analysis on this but I want to use a graphing calculator to help us out. So let's, let's go to y equals and type in 6x plus 12 on top. Now we're going to need parentheses because we want to add those together first. And we want the bottom to be subtracted first, and so I'm going to put another set of parentheses there. So 6x plus 12, x minus 1, and let's hit graph. I'm going to get it to our normal zoom here. So I'm going to hit zoom 6. And so you see we've got something very similar to our original rational function. Um, and we're just going to use this to help us out. I'm going to graph this. It's going to go up here. Use our, our asymptote up there to help us out. And we're going to use our asymptote up here to help us out as well. It's just going to do something like that. On to part three.